There you go. 1130. I'm calling it 1130. I'm not going to change it. Spreaker. You guys are on the air. We have our backup already rolling. Uh, so there might be about a four, four or five minute time difference from uh, channel one to channel two. But uh, we're still going to call it at 1130 uh, just because <coughs> I was in position <laughs> with my coffee. So uh, anyway, friends, uh, boy, I got a lot to cover. Uh, this is going to be close to the two hour mark here, as always, as usual. Uh, we're going to go into uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and 5, and of course our podcast notes. Uh, and then we've got uh, quite a bit, actually. Uh, we're going to go through our recap series here. Uh, amen. Now, I hope my camera's okay. That got bumped again, as usual. Why not? You know, just throw it in the mix. <laughs> Have it all messed up. I don't know. Well, that's what the devil thinks. You know, he gets his two cents in there and just goes, ah, I'm going to mess it up. You're not going to, you're not going to recover. Uh, no, that's not, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so, and on, on top of that, just real uh, quick here, I wanted to touch uh, basis on something here before we pray it in, because we are going to pray it in. We're going to get going here. Uh, amen. Let me go ahead and get my church on its feet and uh, thunder. Um... We were going to go on live a couple of days ago. Pastor Ida uh, was going to come on in and, and, and do a live broadcast here. But at that early in the morning, we were at, actually at 8 o'clock, uh, and we were going to go ahead and go live uh, because there's a, about a two or three hour time difference uh, between us. And apparently that early in the morning on my end, our... Wi-Fi internet is completely overloaded, uh, and there's no chance of getting online that early in the morning. So everything has to be after noon. Or uh, now here, I'm I'm blessed because uh, apparently anything after like six or six to eight, I guess, a.m. Uh, our end of the Wi-Fi is completely jammed. So that's why I'm able to go on here with you know. <laughs> Praise God for, uh, you know, with little interference. There was a little bit of a stalling difference on Blog Talk uh, and here on Restream. It just uh, stalled and, like, skipped for a couple of seconds. But then I was able to, you know, kind of able to process it through, uh, which is good. Um, but apparently that early in the morning, I'm not able to go live. Uh, so it has to be before 6 a.m. or... Uh, after 11 a.m. So I think there's just a little bit of a time period where uh, I'm not able to get on, uh, which is strange, but you'd think with the high speed and what we're paying, uh, where the ministry's paying here uh, would allow us to, you know, kind of break through all that. So, but again, interference from the devil. Uh, he's mad. He just doesn't want this out. So uh, we are going to just surge on through, power on through as we are called to do, my friends. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, that devil, he's a pain, my friends. So, grab your Bibles, your coffee, uh, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters for your highlighters. And, uh, well, let's have us a noon Bible study, close to noon anyway, I'm calling it. Like I said, uh, I'm going to call it at 1130 Uh Pretty much because that's when we had this thing uh, listed and set up. So um, hopefully everything is working okay. Well, like I said, good to see you guys. I'm still your host, Pastor Rick here, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. For Friday, April 1st already, my friends, good to see you. We are live, like I said, uh, Restream uh, TV. We've got Twitter, LinkedIn, all channels uh, that we've always been on, Spreaker, of course, Blog Talk Radio, uh, our backup for our backup, and our on Channel 1 and Channel 2. So, But we are live on, actually, on Channel 2 here. We are live on there, so uh, just always like to have a backup here on Channel uh, 1. Just in case, you never know, you got to have a backup. Well, like I said, I hope you have your Bibles with you, friends, because uh, we have a lot to cover this morning. Uh, so, yeah, let's get going, and uh, no time 
Uh, other than that, just going over a few notes uh, in uh, the couple of books that we're going to start out with here. On, let's see, where are we at here? We're going to start out, well, with the prayer, of course, but we're going to go into, as I said, we're going to go into uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 5. And it's kind of a mess. I was working on that, and I, I got kind of distracted, as usual, and uh, didn't get a chance to get that done. So uh, it's not bad. It's just a couple little spots I had to fix up. So hopefully the camera's okay. That, Like I said, that got bumped. The cross got bumped. Uh, I am replacing my table, so I'll have that out of here, uh, as I just don't have the space here. Um, amen. All right, so it looks like we're okay. Um, let's get into it, friends. Let's get into our Friday afternoon, Friday morning Bible study podcast. Uh, amen, friends. All right. Gracious, precious Father, thank you. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, for waking me up, uh, for giving me uh, that first breath of fresh air uh, as I... Uh, you know, as I go about today, uh, just preparing for the afternoon here, uh, as I go into these podcasts, I go into these messages, uh, Father God, I just thank you. I give you all the honor, of, of course, as I do every day, and the praise, of course, and the glory. So uh, I lift this up to you, Father God, as the church is open, the doors are open, let's get going. We are ready to start. We are ready to uh, uh, go into your word here. Uh, Father God, it is amazing and always, uh, you know, as always, I'm always humbled to, to get into this word and to be called into this mission field. So thank you for that. I, I do want to pray, of course, for family, friends, uh, everybody watching, hearing these messages, uh, you know, that thank them for their patience, the, the, the you know, the, the prayers and the understanding here as I go uh, continuing every, like every broadcast is nothing but problems and uh, restarts and, and late starts, uh, Father God. You, we know, and I know, that those uh, attacks are from the enemy. The devil's trying to stop this message, and he just doesn't want to uh, get the you know let this get out. But you are in control. You are uh, leading it, of course, and that's why I keep pushing through. This is for you. Uh, always about you and always not about me. So thank you for the, uh, giving me that drive and that ambition to uh, keep pushing through. As again, I pray for family, friends, everybody watching, hearing the replay, precious replay viewers uh, for uh, coming by and watching these messages and hearing these word, this word here. So uh, as always, uh, you know, your hand is on it, uh, on the, on the um, uh, studio here. Uh, it's on the mission, on the uh, messages, and I uh, thank you for that. As your holy angels are around us, protect us, guide us. And give us that strength. So, Father God, thank you always. I always appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep going. I'm going to keep fighting. Uh, you know, uh, I know this is your calling and this is uh, your church. So, thank you for that. And, and I call it in Jesus' precious name. Right now, I pray. Amen and amen. All right, my friends. Well, let's get to it. Uh, no time to waste. Let's get that church again. Got to get that church. Now, I'm supposed to get on uh, here uh, later. I do have an 8 o'clock update uh, on Melon, the two uh, double shots of Melon TV, uh, which is going to be uh, supposed to be 8 o'clock, and we're going to see. We're going to see what happens there. Uh, and then back here at, uh, I think, about 8.30 or 10.30, because it's the Friday night uh, third service. Uh, so I'm going to jump back on Melon, and uh, we're going to roll with that. So, uh, like I said, unless something changes here. Um, so, you know, that's kind of how things roll here. You all know that for hanging out and watching stuff. So thank you for that. So, yeah, getting back to the, the story with Pastor Ina. Now, I hope to bring her back on here on the 4th and the 5th um, this week, actually. Um, so uh, I'm we're going to have to just... Kind of, you know, I'll have to figure out uh, what's uh, what time works for us. And uh, so, Pastor Rana, you're out there. I'll message you and let you know 
I, I did send a text there uh, earlier, so. Uh, but that's what happened. Uh, so that time frame in the morning is is pretty jammed up, and it, uh, I on our end we just don't have the internet, so we'll have to figure something out. <laughs> I might have to get up it. Well, I usually, you know, my hours here, friends, it never, you know, it's not on my time. It's on God's time. And, uh, well, when he calls us. So, anyhow, that's what happened. So, we're going to have to, uh, you know, reset a, another time here. Uh, we might go on some different channels as well. But uh, the links are there and all the connections is all that. So, I'll figure something out. We'll, uh, you know, like I said, uh, we'll we'll bring Pastor Anna back on the uh, podcast here. We'll figure something out and uh, arrange some kind of time frame or something to do that. So there you go, Pastor Anna. Appreciate you so much, uh, my friend, and uh, appreciate you. We definitely get you back on the air here. So personal shout out <laughs> right there. Personal message. Uh, there you go, friend. So. Uh, amen. So, yeah, go check her out. Go uh, go to the Facebook page, uh, friends, on there. So, um, yeah, so you all know where that's at, the Church of God's Children. Then we got Brother Mark over at Facebook, uh, the Christian Watchers of the Heavenly Signs. And, of course, Miss Jackie. Boom, there it is, always on post. So check that out. Of course, uh, everybody on uh, the Facebook page, everybody on the all the groups and stuff, uh, you guys know where you're at and what's going on with that. So, there is your uh, non-commercial, <laughs> non-advertisement uh, update there. Well, like I said, let's go right into our word, brothers and sisters. Pastor Rick here, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. And, of course, always dealing with my microphone, uh, you know, as I kind of did a, a reset here on my table. Like I said, I got a little a little coffee table right here on the side for my Bibles. Uh, and sometimes that just kind of gets in the way and, you know, I have to maneuver, right? <laughs> so, uh, well, it is easier, like I always say. It passed a 30-day test, so uh, I'll be ordering another one of these and uh, sending it off. Amen. So, I always like to pass on the blessings. Uh, amen. So, uh, and by the way, real quick here, friends, check out the experience. You want to go to uh, YouTube and Block Talk Radio, not Block Talk yet, uh, Google Podcasts, and of course, uh, what we got, uh, Spreaker. So check it out, the experience, friends. Amen. All right, well, let's get into some word. Let's get into some Bible studies, friends. Good to be here. Appreciate you hanging out with me for a minute. Uh, anyway. You know, as we go about our Friday and head on into the weekend, friends, uh, what is it? We've got about 50, so it is warm, and that's why I kind of, if you hear that little humming, that little background thing going on here, uh, I've got the fan going on because it was a little warm. Uh, as, as again, we you know try to keep the door shut, uh, keep them flies and bugs out of the room and out of the studio here, but... Uh, you know, y'all know how that goes, you know, so there's your bug update and your, your, you know, all that stuff there. Well, let's get into it, friends. You know, I got a lot to cover this today. Uh, I can't call it morning because it's not morning. <laughs> I'm like, oh, 25, about 25 minutes again to reset everything. And like I said, I, my main phone, I usually just have open for messages. Um turned on by itself i'm not kidding friends it was off and silent and then it just popped back on with one of the scriptures i was looking at i think mark or luke or something like that uh but it just ghosted on as i you know as the kids say it kind of ghosted on and uh it it just turned on by itself i mean it went right to the channel there's nothing showing on my screen so I know the devil is a liar, and uh, he definitely, uh, he was definitely messing uh, with this stuff. So, but I gave him a two what left four, whatever that means. I don't know what that is. Anyway, I just, you know, I, I, I told him, nope, not today, not tonight, not tomorrow, not ever, right? Uh, amen. All right, so let's pull this back up just a little bit more here. And, of course, give me a minute because now I went <laughs> over the edge here. 
Oh, mercy, my friends. You know, it's always something. I'm trying to do the best I can here. Um, okay. Are we good? Yep. All right. It's picking up. We're recording. It is live right here uh, on Channel 2. So, whew, I'm telling you, a lot of stuff that, to get prepared for here, friends. Amen. But I'm glad to do it. I'm glad to share with you. You know, I do appreciate you guys. Uh, amen. So let's get to it. First Thessalonians chapter four and five. Uh, amen. And a lot to it here, friends. So, yeah. And like I said, I should see you back on. If you guys happen to have the uh, Twitch TV channel, go ahead and jump on over there uh, at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then back here later on tonight, about 1030 or so, maybe 11. We'll see. Uh, at uh, back at Melon TV, doing a double, uh, uh, a triple shot today on our Friday. So, and then should be back on well, <laughs> whatever normal scheduling it is uh, tomorrow afternoon and Sunday, of course, at three, uh, back on here, and then uh, our late night uh, ten o'clock at uh, Melon. So, kind of uh, jumping back and forth on those. So, there you go. There's your schedule update, friends. All right, brothers and sisters, let's get to it. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and 5. Amen. All right, now Paul's appeal for purity. Now, furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that uh, as you have received of us, how we ought to, or ye ought to walk and to please God. So ye would abound more and more, for ye know that... Uh, or know what commandments we gave you by the Lord Jesus. And for this, the will of God, even your sanctification, that ye should abstain from fornication. All right. And uh, just in case here, let me move this up. I had problems with it last time, but it, it seemed to be uh, picking up at this angle here. So I wanted to make sure it's, it's good. All right. So, uh, not in verse 5, uh, no, let's go back to 4. Now, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, uh, even as the Gentiles, which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother. Uh, in any manner. Now, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such as we also have forewarned you and uh, testified. For God hath not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. He therefore that despiseth, despiseth not man, but God, who hath also given us uh, his Holy Spirit. But as touching uh, brotherly love, ye need know or not that I write unto you, for ye un, uh, yourselves are taught of God to love one another. Amen. Uh, and indeed ye do it uh, toward all the brethren which are in all Macedonia. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. Amen. And that she studied to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we uh, command you. That she may walk honestly toward them that are without and that ye may have lack of nothing. Now the coming of the Lord. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them that are asleep. That ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain, friends, unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with uh, the trump of God, and with the dead in Christ shall rise first. And you guys can check that out. Uh, there's some 
kind of parable lines or scriptures in there in the book of Revelation, I believe in 3 and 4. So uh, as I check my notes here, friends, just go ahead and check that out on your own when you get a chance to read through the book of Revelation. We are actually uh, going to go ahead and go through there. Uh, I do have some scriptures picked out, 20 through 22. So we are going to look at Revelation again. Amen. Now, as he says, uh, then we which are alive, and again, this is a key uh, scripture here, again, on the rapture. I know, so much controversy about that. So, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, uh, as he says, uh, to meet the Lord in the air, and shall uh, we ever be with the Lord. All right. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Amen. All right. Chapter 5 in the book of First Thessalonians. Then we're going to go right into our scripture notes uh, here, friends. Amen. Get that uh, standing by here, friends. Amen. All right. Double checking uh, everything. All right. Oh, we got to grab some coffee. I know. It's always coffee and Bible time, friends. You know, and like I said, when, uh, um, uh, I don't know, for me personally, it's coffee time and Bible time, friends. Amen. And when the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, you put the word of God on it, friends. Amen. All right, so let's continue again. First Thessalonians chapter 5. All right. Uh, <laughs> making sure I'm all, I'm all set here. All right, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need uh, that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly uh, that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief, as I was Talking about right there as a thief of the night or in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, cometh upon them as travail upon a woman uh, with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Uh, ye are. Uh, as he says, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day, and we are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith here, uh, as he says, and of love, and uh, for a helmet. Uh, the hope of salvation, and of course, you know, we're going to go into our notes here too, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Uh, amen. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, uh, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another. Uh, even as also ye do. Now, Paul exhorts the brethren. And we beseech you, uh, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. And to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn uh, warn them that are truly comfort, or that are unruly. There it is. I couldn't see that part. Comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good. Uh, both among yourselves and to all men, rejoice evermore. Amen. Now pray without ceasing. In everything, uh, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus uh, concerning 
uh, concerning you. Now, quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying or prophesying. Uh, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, and uh, abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, uh, your whole spirit and soul and body uh, be. Uh, a pro- Let's see, what is that word? Um, be preserved. There it is. It looks like oppressed or something, but we don't want to be oppressed or depressed. We want to be spiritually happy, right? Or <laughs> content, peaceful. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so blameless to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Now, the final greetings and, of course, the benediction here. Now, brethren, pray for us. Greet all uh, the whole, or all the brethren with a holy kiss. Uh, I charge you by the Lord that this, uh, this epistle be read unto all uh, the holy brethren. Now, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, friends, brothers and sisters. Amen and amen. All right. That's some good stuff there. I always love that. All right, so let's go into our podcast notes or scriptures. We're going to jump right on into it, friends. No time to waste uh, or wait, uh, you know, and uh, let's just get right into some church this afternoon. Uh, Sinner's Prayer Salvation, you know, I always love sharing that with you guys. Uh, Amen. And uh, boy, am I, I have, actually, I finally got uh, the cords and wires uh, re tested, reconnected, and I can actually hear everything in the monitors finally uh, after, you know, uh, you know, of course, all the attacks and stuff. It's just typical of, you know, and you guys that do this, you know, you know what I'm talking about here, you know, you, uh, you know, you, you <laughs> just little things, uh, you know, power, internet, cords, cables, wires, you know, uh, you know, we just got to keep praying and, you know, just lay hands on them and, and just uh, keep praying uh, for all that, uh, you know, keeps going, right? We got a mission to do, right? That's what we're on. Amen. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and go into our sinner's prayer. Go ahead and get a hold of me, friends. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Or not network. Uh, well, yeah, at uh, yahoo.com. That's the place. <laughs> so there you go. Well, uh, let's read this, friends. Let's uh, go ahead and go into our notes. Good, grateful to see you guys today. Uh, dear God, I know that I am a sinner, and I, I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. And at this very moment, friends, I accept confess and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. All right, now please send your Holy Spirit to guide me to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. Friends, church, brothers and sisters, and in Jesus' name we pray right now, amen and amen. All right, quick, uh, quick volume level check here. I want to know right. if it's right. working or not. Amen. That's the question of the day. All right, quick, <laughs> I... Yep, I got good sound, good levels there. All right, amen. All right, so let's go ahead. I think we should go ahead and put some armor on here, friends. So uh, go to your Bibles, go to your notes if you got them out, uh, friends, um, Ephesians six ten through 20. Let's go ahead and check that out. Amen. All right. Finally, my brethren and sisters, he says and tells us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, 
and uh, having done all the stand, because we got some more work to do, my friends. Stand, therefore, uh, having the loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod of the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, amen. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, our living water and our Bible, of course. Amen. We need that every single day. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen and amen, just because I can and I will. Amen. Right. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the serenity prayer. And, of course, uh, as we pray, we go into our Lord's Prayer. Um, All right. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, and the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Of course, living one day at a time here, friends, amen, Uh, enjoying one moment at a time and accepting hardships as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, Uh, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the next one here. Of course, we got the Lord's Prayer, friends. So make sure you got that uh, on your notes there. Uh, amen. Now, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Uh, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Church, come on in. You know what time it is. Uh, for, thine, <laughs> for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Uh, give me a big amen, my friends. Good to see you. Uh, amen and amen. All right. Sounds good. And of course, you know we got our uh, we got our notes here. So let's check it out. See what's on the menu, <laughs> right? And of course, we opened up with First Thessalonians four and five. That's uh, that's awesome. There, um, Amen. Let's see. But um, but um, do 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 do. Good to see you guys. Good to be back. I uh, like I said, you know, and, and I did some a lot of heavy duty yard work. Uh, what was it the other day? Um, and uh, you know, it takes me it takes me a day or two to kind of recover uh, from all that because it's hardcore. Uh, and we're getting ready here to uh, you know grab the rototiller again and and plow out the back uh, yard again. Uh, we did get a lot of renovations done. Uh, so I'll be doing the rototiller here again. Uh, so I'm going to try to like get in there and batch record or just go in there live early. Well, maybe around the same time and then spend a few hours in the afternoon uh, working on it. So, uh, it won't, uh, it won't be as bad, but, uh, it'll take, <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna take its toll. I, I already know, um, for sure. So, um, all right. So, anyway, that's kind of on the plan. That's next week. I'm not going to do anything uh, real heavy duty this week. It's going to be just uh, concentrating on the studies, um, and uh, of course, uh, you know, uh, taking care of uh, God's business, my friends. Uh, a couple little upgrades coming in, and uh, you know, uh, little things. I just keep busy and stuff and uh, really concentrating on the on the studies here. So we want to kind of get back on track. Amen. All right. So let <laughs> me take my notes and do that. 
All right. Well, that can sit for a minute. Uh, let's see. Hang on here, friends. Well, uh, again, friends, you made it. I hope you uh, have had a great week so far. Uh, you know, it's uh, a lot of a lot of stuff, a lot of things happening right now. Uh, we just got to keep God in mind and, and, and keep pushing forward. So, amen, right? Uh, so, and I, I do hope, uh, and uh, you know, I hope you guys have a great weekend as we go into our weekend. That's awesome. Uh, stay safe, you know, uh, amen. All right, so, again, just kind of mending a few notes here. We want to definitely get into it. Uh, yeah, so let's go into our next. We're going to go into live in God's love, that agape love, my friends. And uh, I want to make sure I got uh, the notes for this. And like I said, this is probably going to be close to the two-hour mark, if not a little over again, cause just because we got such a late start going on again. Uh, and I do want to get all the scriptures for you, give you a little bit, a uh, little bit of uh, steady time there. So um, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So yeah, I'm going to give you, you know, probably like I said, close to the two hour mark again. Uh, if not, a little over because you never know. But I want to make sure I I jump back on here and give you guys some scriptures and stuff to. You know to study, uh, and you know, and the, you know, just to kind of kick back, relax, and, and get get the word of God here, friends. Amen. All right. Uh, so there it is. That's there. All right. Uh, what do we got? John chapter fifteen. Amen. Okay, so that's good. And again, um, let's see. We want to go. Two, oops, man. <laughs> All right, John chapter 15, but we are going to look at my friends. Hold on here. Let me get my notes here. We want to go to 129. And again, we're going to be batch, uh, well, not batch, but we're going to be sending these out again. Uh, if you guys didn't get them before, uh, and I'm sorry about all that, friends, there was a big mix-up, and uh, the person I sent out to mail them didn't. Uh, and so we've had a lot of delays, a lot of people asking about them, but uh, I straightened it all out, and uh, hopefully uh, this week here, this coming week, we'll be getting some more out, so... Um, and again, if you guys need them, let me know, uh, hit me up on that email. Uh, amen. And of course, if you took that step out in faith and boldness, my friends, with that, uh, sinner's prayer, then go ahead and get a hold of me again. Uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, um, network at yahoo.com. That's, that's the place. <laughs> I had to think about that for a minute. Well, let's uh, check it out. Live in God's love. Again, we're going to take, uh, take a look at this. Um, amen. All right. And, of course, you know, we're going we're gonna to read all the way through John 15 here. So let me get my notes together. Uh, amen. Right. And all right, so let's check it out, my friends. Good to be here today. Now, a portion of Jesus' last message to his disciples before his death uh, first recorded or is recorded here in preparation for his departure. Uh, Jesus emphasizes or emphasized his love for them, that agape love. Uh, For his departure, again, he emphasized his love for them and how that love should affect their lives. He wanted them to realize that they could experience true and lasting joy in their walk with God, friends. Amen? All right. Uh, Now, even if he could not personally be with them, right? Now, we know he's with us, right, every day. Amen. Uh, for that reason, the, uh, the intimate message and command from Christ applies to us today as well as in this text, give, or this text gives us uh, four examples uh, or simple points that will enable us to live in his love. Amen. 
All right, and again, see, I feel like I'm squashed against this side here. What is going on with that? There it is. Do I have to maybe go like this, maybe? Um, <laughs> and I've, you know, like I, I've tried to uh, balance out this camera angle uh, so much. I may have to move it over here, uh, and I'll do that after the broadcast here. I don't want to really kind of mess with the camera angle here, but I'll, I'll retest that uh, and... Uh, I'll, I'll reset this. And I, like I said, I may have to move it completely over over another foot or so because it just seems off. It just seems like I'm, I'm crooked or something. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It's just kind of weird, and it's kind of not looking right. So anyway, give me a thumbs up, you guys. If everything looks okay for you, I always appreciate that. All right, let's kick back. Let's get going here uh, to our study here. Live in God's love, friends, right? And, of course, um, let's see. Go ahead and adjust that that way. That way, actually, not, you know, it's got that double angle there. All right. Are we ready? Let us proceed, my friends. Uh, amen, man. All right. One through four, friends. Amen. All right. Now, one through four. Live in God's love. Let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead and read this together here, friends. Now, one, realize that you have the love of Jesus. Amen. Now, Jesus is not simply some authoritative figure who demands our respect. He is a personal being, uh, truly God and fully human, who loved us so much that he died in our place, friends. He died in our place, that propitiation for us, right? He became the propitiation for us. Um, now, who loved us so much that he died in our place, knowing that uh, Jesus loves you, uh, frees you to love him in return because we love Jesus and we will obey uh, his commands as God requires us to do. All right, now... Number two, live within God's love by obeying his commands. Now, one of the earmarks of a true follower of Christ, of course, is obedience, right? Now, it is easy to boast of our great love for God or the wonderful affection and devotion we feel towards him. But the way to prove your love is, for Jesus is to obey his commands and obeying his commands uh, out of obligation rather than love can produce resentment towards him. And we don't want that, of course, friend. we don't want resentment towards our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right. So uh, let me continue here. Uh, now, this or that is because there is no joy in mere obligation. But obeying Jesus out of love produces joy. Now, let's go to the next couple here, uh, friends. I'm just about ready to sneeze again. Mercy. All right, so let's roll on to three. Um, now, follow Jesus' example uh, as uh, Jesus is a perfect model of obedience. And pay careful attention of how Jesus obeyed his heavenly Father throughout uh, the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, of course, the birth, uh, birth, death, resurrection, and the ascension of Jesus Christ here, friends. All right. Uh, now, experience in four, experience the reward of obedience, overflowing joy. An obedient uh, Christian, as he says, is a happy Christian. Now, if you want more joy in your life, make sure that you are following the guidelines uh, as uh, uh, or God has given you in his word. Amen. Now, do you find it hard to obey God and his principles? If so, it is probably time to reexamine your priorities and make sure that uh, getting to know your creator is right at the top of your priority list, friends. Amen. Then you will discover the joy that comes from living in God's word every day. Amen. Let's go to the scripture, of course, uh, friends. And uh, let's see. Let's see what we got 
there. I got a couple of them I want to share with you, so let's see if we can uh, set that up and not have it fall down. All right, so uh, chapter 15 in the book of John, of course, and we are going to go ahead and go to that. Right, make sure I got my side uh, desk there. Uh, amen. So, yeah, chapter 15, the book of John here, friends. Let's keep going. We've got a lot to cover. Now, I, I talk about the true vine, uh, the, or the vine and the branches here again, friends. Uh, an example of Jesus' love. He says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Uh, now every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may uh, bring forth much fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. And no more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. Uh, he that abideth in me, and I in him, the same, um, let's see, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me, and there it is, friends, without, uh, he says, without me, you can do nothing. Now, if a man abide not in me, he is sent forth as a branch, and is withered. And what else? Gather together. Or gather them. And them into the fire. And they are burned. If ye abide in me and my words are in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Now herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. Now, as the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. Now, these things have I spoken unto you, that ye might, uh, my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Amen. All right, double checking all the monitors. I think we're okay here. So, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you, or uh, that I have commanded you. Uh, now, henceforth I call you not servants, as that is our key scripture. Uh, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Now, here again, friends, as I was going back through my notes and I saw this again, and I was like thinking about it really, uh, really strong there, um, you know, it, it makes it pretty clear. We didn't choose him, he chose us. So, watch this scripture here, friends. Watch this verse in John uh, 15. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name he may give you or give it give it you. These things I command you that you love one another. Now, of course, as we are seeing clearly every single day in this world and the, you know, all that stuff, I'm not going to go in there, but uh, you guys see this every day, plenty of examples of the world's darkness right now. Uh, this talks about the hatred of the world. So they experienced that back then, and we're clearly seeing that now, right? So here you go, friends. Oh, mercy. Um... <laughs> All right. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Uh, if it were of the world, the world would. Uh, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not in the world, 
But I've chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. And remember the word that I sent unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If ye have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Uh, if they kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. If he that hated me hateth my father also, if I had not done among them the works which none other man did, uh, they uh, would have had, had not had sin. There it is. Uh, and now, have they both seen and hated both me and my father? But they cometh to pass, or this cometh to pass, that the world, uh, let's see, the world might be fulfilled that is, is written in their law, and they hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom, of course, we're talking about the Holy Spirit here, um, let's see, uh, uh, I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of men. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. So there you go. All right, so as we hit our go to our first hour here, we're going to keep rolling. We're going to let the, everything keep going and rolling here, uh, friends. Now, I will pause for a minute, as you guys know the routine here. Uh, to uh, free up the tablet. So that is the plan here. About uh, uh, just a few more minutes, right? So, amen. Be in, just be prepared, right, friends? Be prepared. All right. Well, let's uh, take care of a couple of quick notes. And again, just kind of rolling through a couple of things here. Uh, yeah, so we're going to keep rolling. Uh, no uh, don't stop it here, uh, as uh, I told the devil. You're not prepared enough, uh, you know. And uh, well, I guess you're you're gonna run on cold coffee because it just it's not gonna happen here. I'm gonna keep fighting and keep rolling through things. So anyway, uh, thank you guys again. So like I said, top of the hour, we're gonna break for a minute, uh, a couple of minutes here uh, while I load the channels in, and. Uh, get uh, get the tablet open here so as I'm using the main tablet there. Hey man. All right, well let's keep going. Like I said, John chapter 15, the vine dresser. Amen. And so, let me get the notes together here. All right. Well, let's roll on into Isaiah. Friends, I think we'll want to go ahead and do that. Where's it at? All right. Twenty four. Isaiah twenty four. Right? Is that where we want? No, we want uh, uh, forty one and forty two. So <laughs> let's check it out, friends. All right. There's the uh, warning there. Uh, friends, I want to go ahead and just keep running here. And again, uh, I'll just let it set for a minute. Let, I'll finish out. Oh, there it is right, right there. Well, that was good timing. Uh, amen. So, yeah, hang on here, friends, as we break into our second hour here this this afternoon. Uh, we'll be uh, going right here into uh, Isaiah 40, uh, 41 and 42. Pretty long scriptures. I didn't get a chance to do this last time. Uh, so, let's see. I want to go ahead and, and roll into that. We might just do 41. Uh, I think that's what we'll do. I'll save 42 for later, uh, and we'll just roll right into 40, uh, 41 here. So, give me a minute. Let me fix this uh, for sure. Uh, amen. <laughs> Let me... Uh, Go ahead and work on this for a second. You guys take a quick break while I uh, readjust some things here, of course. Uh, amen. And uh, let's see. I want to go ahead and fix that. 
So yeah, I'll do 41 here, friends, just because there's a lot to it, and I, you know, I want, I have others uh, I want to uh, go into, so, amen. All right, uh, let's see that. Now, Isaiah 40, and there is our second channel, Tin Can and Anchor Cast Box. You got your hour up. There you go for your Friday Bible study church service here, friends. Pastor Rick, and I don't know where to keep going here. So, like I said, uh, let me readjust the uh, scripture here. And we are just going to go 41, uh, amen, through 29. Amen. And I want to make sure I got the right scripture in the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, the right scripture and the page <laughs> written down because you guys know, man, I, I get... Uh, I get so sidetracked sometimes. Uh, well, <laughs> for the most part, y'all know what y'all know what goes on here. Uh, I have so much going on. I just trying to keep everything together here. Uh, amen. So that is going to be the next one. We are going to take a look at that in Isaiah. But uh, let me go ahead and close this out. Give me a minute here, friends. Take a quick break, a coffee break, bathroom break. Uh, go get your Bibles. Uh, you know, uh, dialed in there. Uh, we got a lot to cover uh, for our second hour here. Like I said, this is probably going to be close to the two-hour mark, uh, you know, as it always usually is, right? Amen. For a Friday afternoon, friends. Amen. Let me see if I can't get in here for some reason. There it is. All right. Not let me in. Oh, man. The first of the month already, friends. Can you believe that? Oh, man. Uh <laughs> Flying by, uh, friends, just flying right by here. Uh, amen. This is our first service, so I'll be back later on. So, like I said, I've got it updated at 8 and another one at 1030 back on Melon, a double shot of Melon TV there. So, that's going to be awesome. And, uh, well, we'll be back with more scriptures, different channel. Amen. All right. So, again, bear with me here. Um let me see if I can't get this uh, set up here. A little bit of work to do, but I always appreciate the opportunity. Amen. There it is spinning through, so we'll let that set for a minute. And uh, take a quick break and grab some coffee here. I really don't want to spend too much time uh, not working on that because... Uh, you know, uh, how it goes here, friends. I want to make sure that I get that taken care of. Now, if it seems jumpy to you guys, if, if anything seems jumpy on that, please let me know. Uh, we've been having some uh, problems, you know, have some issues. <sighs> Boy, they're still talking snow. What? <laughs> no. No, we don't want snow. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, so again, with this, you know, constant battle of the microphone, uh, I'm not sure what to do on that. I don't know. I just don't know. I just try to keep it the best way I can in, in one spot and, you know, so anyway, it's still processing through here, so uh, we're going to hang out for a minute. Friends, we'll uh, get to the next scripture. Again, Isaiah 41. Uh, we are going to go ahead and open up with that or, or go into that next. The final restoration of Israel. And then, of course, we got a lot of other scriptures to go to as well. So, uh, good to see you guys again. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here. Uh, almost 1 p.m. I had a little bit of a, like a delayed in the start this morning. Started at 11.30 uh, I, I'm sticking to that, by the way. <laughs> I am. I, and, uh, uh, yeah, we had uh, had some delays again, and uh, something was not working right again with the technical parts. And so I just pushed on through and did it anyway. Amen. All right, give me a minute. Let me reset. We got our uh, – I want to just get this thing back here. We got this thing reset. So – um, amen. All right, bear with me, you guys. And like I said, 
uh, get up, take care of your business, take care of your, uh, you know, whatever you got going on here this morning or this afternoon. Um, amen. We'll be, we'll be right back on our podcast here today, friends. Live on Restream TV. You want to jump back on there and get on that? Now, don't forget the mail on TV later on tonight. Amen. All right. Uh, oops, let's see. Not in the afternoon. <laughs> Not in the afternoon. Uh, not yet. Well, we are now, but we started this in the morning, so. Um, hey man, give me a minute. Um, let's see. Oops. And I'll fix that later. You guys that are following me on Anchor and CastBox and all those channels, you guys know I, I usually go back there and uh, try to straighten everything out. So, all right. Uh, hold on here, friends. Again. Um, all right. Amen. And I guess we're in our 12th season over there, so that's really awesome. Uh, man, that is uh, amazing. I, I just never thought I'd get that far on any of the, you know, the channels here. So, um, amen. All right. Well, there it is. Uh, let's get that monitor going here. Uh, bear with me, guys. Hold on here. We just about got it. couple little monitors I got to check. I want to make sure uh, we get in there. Um, amen. So bear with me. Hold on here. All right. Check that. Let me make sure I got into that. Okay. And of course, our, our monitors, you know how they go here, friends. Amen. All right. Uh, good there. And, of course, let's go to our LinkedIn channel real quick here, friends. We are at our second hour. Uh, man, oh, man, that is awesome. Um, let's see. And I'll let that second channel set for a minute just because um, I want to just make sure that that's there, so. And, all right, I think we're all set. Uh, now, I did double-check our channels here. We, we were live on the on the um, LinkedIn channel. The Twitter channel's rolling just fine. Everything looks good, sounds good. Um, let's see. And, uh, let's see. So, yeah, we're live on Twitter. We're live on LinkedIn. All the channels look good. They sound good. Um, amen. So, that's awesome. Um, all right, let's go back to our YouTube, and uh, like I said, bear with me here, you guys, just a minute. Um, I want to make sure that I get everything taken care of here. Um, hey, man, I'll let that one go as well. Uh, i got to test it, make sure it works here. Um, okay. I, I, think we're, I think we're actually going to be okay here, so let's get going. You're live. Let's keep rolling here. Hey, man, as we get into our second hour here, you guys, second hour church service here, uh, we got uh, Isaiah 41, friends. Let's go ahead and do that. Amen. Now, keep silence before me, uh, O islands, and let people renew their strength. Let them come near. Let them uh, Then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment, who raised up a righteous, or the righteous man from the east, called him to his foot, Gave the nations before him and made his rule or him rule over kings. He gave them as the dust to his sword. And as again, <laughs> man, uh, what did he do here? He gave them as the dust to his sword and as driven stubble to his bow. He pursued them and passed safely 
even by the way that he had not gone with his feet, uh, who hath wrought and done it, uh, called or calling uh, the generations, as he says, uh, from the beginning, I, the Lord, the first and the last, I am he, the isle saw it and feared, and the ends of the earth were afraid. And drew near and came, they helped every one his neighbor, and every one said to his brother, Be of good courage. Right? Amen. Be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged uh, the goldsmith, and he that smothereth, with the hammer, or smoteth with the hammer, uh, him that smote the anvil, saying, It is ready for the soldering, and he fastened it with nails, uh, that uh, it should not be moved. But thou, Israel, art my servant, uh, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called uh, thee from the chief, bear with me on this, uh, the chief man thereof, and said unto thee, uh, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, Amen. and not cast thee away. Right? Come on now. Now fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will upload thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. And, of course, once I try to fix it, then I make it worse. And uh, so i got to go back and check it out. Readjust the, the notes here. Amen. All right. Not too bad. Not a whole lot of work there. Uh, amen. So, uh, in nine, thou, let's see, no, do we want to go there? Let's see. Um, all right, eight. Let's go to verse eight, chapter 41 in the book of Isaiah, friends. Let's check that out, right? Amen. And I hope, uh, let's see, nope, there you go. I don't know why that headset always gets so thrown off here. I'm not sure what's going on with that. All right, uh, but thou, do, 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 seven, verse seven, let's go there. <laughs> so the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, let's do that again. And he that smoteth with a hammer, him that smote the anvil. Uh, it is ready for the soldering, and he fastened it with nails that should not be moved. But uh, thou, Israel, art my servant. Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief man thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear not, or fear thou not, for thou art see. Uh, nope, not that. Um, let me fix this up here. Amen. For I am thy God, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And behold, all they, they uh, that were incensed against, uh, against thee shall be ashamed and confounded, uh, they shall be as nothing. And they that strive will, uh, with thee shall perish. Thou, uh, thou shalt let's see, seek them, and shall not find them. Even them that contented with thee, the uh, that they that war against thee be as nothing, and as uh, a thing of naught. Right. So there you go. Uh, amen. Now, for I, the Lord. Uh, thy God will hold thy right hand, saying with thee, Fear not, I will help thee. And fear not uh, the worm, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee with the Lord. Or saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, or Redeemer, that's too many these and thous here that's throwing me off. Um, let's see. 
All right, where did I go? All right, the Holy One of Israel, uh, behold, I will make the, the a new sharp uh, threshing instrument having teeth. Uh, thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them, uh, beat them small. And shalt make the hills uh, as chaff, right? The wheats and the, the tares and the wheats there. Or the, the, where, the wheats and the tares, something like that. Amen. All right, thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the, uh, in the Holy One of Israel. When... The uh, when the poor and needy seek water and there is none, right? Uh, hang on here, of course, with that. All right, and their tongue faileth for thirst. I am the Lord. Uh, I, I, I see, I what? <laughs> I, there's too many eyes in that sentence. I wasn't trying to do that on purpose, it just there, there it is. I, the Lord, will hear them. Uh, I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. Too many eyes in that scripture, in that verse there. Again, I will open rivers and high places and uh, fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness of uh, a pool of water, the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the uh the shita tree and the myrtle and the oil tree, I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together. Man, mercy. All right. And let's see. Now, consider, as he says, and I believe it's in verse 20. Um, let's see. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this. Right? The hand of the Lord hath done this. And the Holy One of Israel uh, hath created it. Now, we're going to go into our second part here. Uh, apart from the Lord, there is no hope. Right? So, all right. Now. In verse 21, produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason, saith the king of Jacob. Let them bring them forth and show us what will happen, and let them show the former things what they be, or what they be, there it is. That we may consider them and know the latter end of them and declare or declare us things for to come. Right? All right, double checking everything. I think we're, I think we're finally, maybe for now, anyway. We're gonna praise God on that one, friends. <laughs> right? <laughs> Amen. All right, let them bring forth and show us what shall happen. Now let them show the former things what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them and declare us uh, thing or declare declare us things for to come. Show the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that ye are gods, yea, do good or do evil, that they may be dismayed and behold it together. And behold, ye are of nothing, and your work of not an abom uh, see, abomination is he that uh, chosen you or choseth you. I have raised up one from the north. And he shall come, and uh, from the risen of the sun shall he call upon his name, or my name. And he shall come upon princes as upon mortar, and as the potter treadeth clay, who hath declared from the beginning that we may know, and before time that we may say he is righteous. Yes, there is none that showeth uh, yea, there is none that declareth. Yea, there is none that heareth your words. Uh, the first shall say to Zion, Behold them, and I will give to Jerusalem one that bringeth good tidings. 
for I beheld, and there was no man even among them, and there was no counselor that, when I asked of them, could answer a word, and behold, they are all vanity. Their works are nothing, their molten images are wind and confusion. There you go. Boy, that's a, that's a tough uh, scripture to, to get through, right? But we know. Uh, amen. Amen. But we know that the, the Lord is with us on that one, right? To get us through that. Uh, amen. All right. I, I just, I'm just flabbergasted at the, uh, you know, how quickly the, the year is passing, uh, passing by, friends. We're already in the month of April. Um, man, amazing. And, of course, you know, uh, friends, I will be, uh, you know, we'll be trying to step up the broadcast here. Um, this month is tough for me personally. Uh, it's, uh, you know, a few weeks out here, uh, the 21st, I believe. Um, my my mom, my, my mother, birth mother, passed away this month uh, about 11, 12 years ago. Uh, and... Uh, Somewhere out in there, and it's uh, it's always a tough month for me personally to get through. But you know, I um, we just lean on the Lord, and, and just uh, you know, I got to trust Him and know that He's uh, He's got a good plan, and you know, to uh, stick to that plan and not uh, not drift off. So anyway, friends, I uh, I don't think I'm going to be taking uh, time off. Uh, you know, uh, away from the broadcast. I'm going to be sticking to my, my schedule as close to it as I can anyway. Um, you know, even though it is a, a, a real tough, like I said, it's a real tough personal time for me. But, um, you know, we got to just, I don't know, I, I kind of lost for words uh, on that, friends. I don't share a lot of personal, uh, you know, a lot of personal things with me. Uh, it's really not about me, and it's a, a really about what God has uh, called me to do. Uh, but I did, you know, I kind of wanted to share that a little bit with you. Not much. I'm not going to go into detail about that. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so that, you know, the schedule's not going to really deviate too much. I'm not really going to drift off the scheduling too much. It's, you know, I'm going to try to keep it as close to, you know, the <laughs> as I schedule it, but uh, it's pretty ambitious. Uh, but uh, you know that's what uh, it's what God said to do. Let's keep on course there. Amen. All right. Uh, amen. All right. So <laughs> let me get back to my scripture notes here. Isaiah forty-one. Amen. And uh, of course. All right. So I think we're still good. Let's go to Revelation, friends. Now I did want to cover Revelation for sure. Oops. Mercy cords, cables, wires. <laughs> Man. All right. So, yeah, let's roll on to uh, Revelation 20. Uh, let's see. Was it 2022, right? 2222. All right. Roll up the sleeves, my friends. And let's see. We've got our. Trying to keep all the cords and wires together here. It's amazing how much I've got actually rolling here in the studio. All right, so yeah, let's go to Revelation. This is our continuance of part one here, so I did want to, you know, continue with that. Uh, amen. All right, Revelation 20 through 22. Now, of course, we are talking about Satan uh, and his activity bound for a thousand years. Let's go uh, go ahead and go into that. So when I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which we know is the devil, right? Uh, amen. Boy, that, that sneeze is coming. It's right there. Not, hopefully not now. All right. So uh, he was bound for a thousand years, my friends. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a, uh, a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. And I saw thrones and they sat upon them and the judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witnesses of Jesus Oh, 
man, and, and for the word of God, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, and neither had received his mark uh, upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. And this is, of course, as I talked about, uh, friends, right here, uh, first and second resurrections, first and second deaths, uh, right? All right. So, bless and and the books, of course, the Lamb's Book of Life and the Book of Life. So there are two. Read the Bible, folks. Check it out. All right. So in verse six, uh, blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God in Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison, and shall go out to deceive the nations, which are in the four quarters of, uh, of the earth. And then again, here we talk about Gog and Magog, which we, again, we're clearly seeing uh, evidence here. So Gog and Magog to gather together to battle the number of whom at the uh, at, is as the sand of the sea, and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed uh, the camp of the saints about in the beloved city, and the fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. Right, we're talking about Sodom and Gomorrah there with the uh, the fire bombs, right? It destroyed the city, took everybody out, right? And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, uh, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Now, uh, we're talking about the judgment of the great white throne. And I saw a great white throne of him, or and him, that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand in judgment before God. As I said, uh, the judgment day here. All right. Let's write that note down. Man. And I saw the dead and small, uh, as he says here in verse 12, a uh, great stand before God, and the books were open. And another book was open. So he, right there, the books, plur, uh, plural, were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of these things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead... Uh, which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which was or were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell uh, were cast into the lake of fire. Now that is, of course, the second death. All right, and whose silver was not found uh, written in the book of life was cast into the lake uh, of fire. All right, let's go to 21 here. Uh, the new heaven and the uh, new earth, as I've talked about several times before, uh, the new Jerusalem, right? And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, and the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no more sea. And I saw, uh, I, John, saw the holy city, uh, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and God himself uh, hath be with them. Or shall be with them, right? And be their God. All right. <laughs> I, had to, I had to double check myself. And be their God now. And God, now watch this. This is the best part of this part, uh, you know, the, the scriptures here. Um, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. 
for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, uh, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write for these words are true and faithful. So we could take that right to the bank, friends, and we could cash that because that's his, that's God's word right there. Amen. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. A lot of clarity in those scriptures, friends. If you ever have any doubts, don't, because the doubts are coming from the devil and this is the word that we need to listen to. Amen. All right. So, I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Uh, freely here. He that overcometh shall inherit, uh, inherit all things. And I will be his God. And he shall be my son. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable... Uh, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, uh, and here again, the second death. Pretty clear to me, friends, right? All right, the New Jerusalem, in verse 9, And there came unto me, uh, one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues. And I, let me fix this part here. Amen. All right. Uh, so the seven, uh, let's see, the seven vials full of the seven last plagues. And talking with me, saying, come hither, I will show thee the bride the Lamb's wife, right? All right, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. Um, amen. Now, having the glory of God in her light was like unto a stone most precious, even uh, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. And uh, had a great wall on the high, uh, let's see, high and tw uh, had 12 gates and at the gates 12 angels and names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Now on the east gates, on the north three gates, or on the east, north, south, and west were all three gates. And I'm going to skip through a lot of this just because it's a lot of repetitiveness uh, in the verses there. So, uh, let's see, uh, 14, verse 14, And the wall of that city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Uh, and he that talked with me had a golden Read to measure the city and the gates thereof and the walls thereof. And the city lieth foursquare, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he uh, and he measured the city with a reed twelve thousand furlongs. Uh, I'll try to read through this as much as I can, but when it starts to, in the description part here, friends. Uh, we may go ahead and just uh, kind of skip skip through it through, for time's sake there. Amen. Well, let me go here. <laughs> All right. And All right. Trying to correct my notes here. Just a minute, folks. Uh, let me go ahead and get that done. So, in like 15 here, now he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof and the walls thereof. And the city lieth four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with a reed, 12,000 furlongs. And the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measured the wall thereof, 144 cubits according to the measure of man, 
that is of the angel. And the building of the wall of it was uh, of jasper, and the city was pure gold like unto pure gold. Uh, clear glass. That's an awesome description, friends. That's just amazing, right? Uh, amen. And the foundations of the wall where the city is, uh, were garnished with all manner um, of precious stones. Now, the first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third a Keldani, and the fourth an emerald. Now, the fifth uh, sardonyx uh, and the sixth, Sardius, the seventh, Chrysolite, the eighth, Beryl, the ninth, the Topaz, and the tenth, a, what does it say next? I want to know. Uh, a, uh, what is it? <laughs> Man, a Chrysophis, right? Uh, the eleventh, the Jason, and the twelfth, an Amethyst. That's pretty descriptive, right? Um, all right, in verse 21, the 12 gates were 12 pearls. Every several gate uh, was one of, uh, of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold. Now, that's, uh, that's an awesome sight. I can't imagine that. Uh, and the street of the city was pure gold, and it was transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb... Uh, of course, Jesus, uh, are, the, uh, are the temple of it. And a city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of the Lord of, of God did lighten it. Amen. And the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are uh, saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth uh, do bring their glory to honor uh, into it, and honor. So it's glory and honor into it. There it is. I had to kind of sound it out and go back at it, or go back and look at it here. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, and there shall no night, uh, be no night there. And it shall bring the glory and the honor of all nations into it. And there shall in no wise enter it anything that defileth. And neither whatsoever walketh abomination, or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Again, the second book there. Uh, amen. All right, chapter 22, friends. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, and he showed me a pure river. Of course, we're in the book of Revelation. I had to kind of recap this again. And he showed me a pure river of water and life, a water of life. Uh, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, in the midst of the street of it, and the either side of the river was there the tree of life, uh, which bare twelve manner of fruits and yielded their fruits uh, every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. All right, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun. Uh, the Lord giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Uh, Christ is to come soon. All right, let's keep going here. We got uh, chapter 22 in the book of Revelations. And he said unto, unto them, These things are faithful and true, and the Lord God of the holy prophets send his, or sent his angels to show unto his servants the things which must shortly uh, be done. As he said, Behold, I come quickly, <clears throat> and blessed is he, that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy in this book. And, um, let's go back over this again, friends. Revelation is a revelation. <laughs> right? Uh, right there in verse 7, Christ is to come. Now, let's check this out. Let's reread this again, friends. Okay? Let's go ahead and go back over this again. And behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keep the sayings of the prophecy of this book. 
And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and see, I'd seen, I fell down uh, to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, Thou, uh, let's see, see thou do it uh, not, for I am thy holy fellow servant, and of the brethren of the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God, and he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. That is uh, unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Uh, and he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with him to give every man according to his work uh, shall be, as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, and that they uh, may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates of the city." We've got to get that thunder in on that part. That is uh, pretty amazing there. All right, here we go. A minute, let me pull that up. And <laughs> we got to get that, that thunder sound going through there and the effects there. So, in verse 15, right? I think that's where we're at. Uh, no, we've got to go to 14. Now, blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates of the city. And without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and uh, murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth uh, and maketh a lie. Uh, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto thee these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And a spirit and the bride say, come, and let him that heareth say, come, and let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever uh, will let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book book. Pretty clear, friends. Very clear if you ask me about that. So God shall add unto them the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book of this prophecy, <coughs> uh, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. Uh, and uh, out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things shall uh, saith, Surely I come quickly, amen, even so come, Lord Jesus, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, friends. Amen and amen. Boy, that's, that's a, a pretty clear warning. Uh, about uh, adding or taking anything away. So we got to watch that. we got to be careful with that. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't, that are not careful, and they're adding stuff to it. But uh, not for me to judge, friends. I am not the judge here. So amen. All right. Well, let's see what do we got on the menu. Um, amen. I wanted to get through at least part one anyway. <laughs> You know how it goes, friends. Uh, pretty pretty uh, crazy there for a minute um, with things going on. Well, we got, again, let's see. So that's going to be part part two. Uh, amen. And we may not get to all of them, but we're going to go through, because uh, I always kind of put a lot of extra uh, out there and just so I could just add them on to the next part of the scriptures there and you know the studies and stuff uh, friends so kind of 
want to make sure I've got enough scriptures for you. But like I said, hey, when you got the Bible and you're, you know, it's spirit led, you never run out of material. You always got stuff to talk about. Amen. So there you go. I just wanted to throw that out there. So let's jump back over to Matthew. Uh, let's see. We want to go there. So Matthew. 23, I think, 23, 24, right, amen, all right, so double checking my time here, like I said, this is going to be close to, or a little bit after two hours here, uh, just because I've got so much, and I, I miss, you know, I miss getting on here, I had some problems the last couple of days, and uh, really kind of resting, and, you know, it takes me a couple of days, once I do, you know, the real heavy duty yard work, it really takes me a lot to recover. I'm not kidding, friends. Uh, you know, my my friend was teasing me. Well, you're old. I'm not that old. Come on now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I could still I could still get up and you know walk the you know walk that step or whatever you know, as they say. You know, um, <laughs> so uh, amen. What does it say, uh, that joke there or something like that? I may be old and slow, but at least I can move. I don't know. if that, that didn't, That's not really funny. But anyway, uh, <laughs> as that goes, uh, anyhow, uh, I'm just trying to be obedient to what God says and keep moving forward, you know, and just keep praising his name. Uh, so... As I always say, hey, I'm not getting old. I'm just getting started. I'm just getting warmed up. That's just the first round here, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what do we got? The New Testament here. I did want to kind of look at that. Um, amen, friends. So, uh, Matthew 23 and 24 for that. And uh, I think we've got uh, 23. I know there's quite a bit. we got a lot. That we may close out with this. On, who knows? I never know what I do here. I just leave with that. Read what I got. All right. So as it's going to say here, friends, there shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. All right. So let's roll with it. Let's go ahead and go into Matthew 23 and 24. And we'll probably wrap it up here in just a little bit. But like I said, I always like to keep it close to the two-hour mark or, you know, close to or a little bit after. But that's okay because I, I don't get on here every single day like I wanted to. The the plan and the schedule is every day. But uh, sometimes it just doesn't happen. I don't get a chance to do that. So there might be, you know, hopefully not too much of a gap for you. But a couple, two, three day you know, the days gap in there. I don't know. I'm trying not to do that as often, but uh, just things get tired, you know, things get busy and hectic, and then I have to kind of shift around. And like I said, on the other day, uh, I had uh, a lot of technical issues with the, with our own Wi-Fi here, even with the booster on. It didn't work. It Just nothing. I, I'm a, literally had a, a blank screen, and I am on the 5G uh, here on channel one so that in and, and that is the main channel now i'm upgrading i'm getting some new uh, equipment in here uh and actually replacing channel one so or two actually uh so that's gonna you know once we get that once i get that all set in and locked in i'll it'll should be okay but so those time frames we're gonna have to jump around and uh see what happens so you know, that's why they're kind of random, uh, you, and you guys know, hey, you know, I try to get on here as often as I can, but uh, some of these are just real randomly scheduled. I never know, uh, so I'm working on it. Like I said, I'm trying to stay as steady as I can possibly stay steady, you know. All right, well, that's, uh, and you guys know I get my rambling time in there. It's some rambling Bible and coffee time, right? Amen. So let's get to it. We got uh, Matthew 23 and 24 as we go into the New Testament here. Uh, now Jesus denounces the scribes and the Pharisees. So then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All, therefore, whatsoever they bid you observe that observed and do. 
But do not ye after their works, for they say, uh, they say, and do not. For they bind heavy burdens, and are grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders. Uh, but they themselves will not move with them of the fingers. But of the works that do for to be seen of men, they may, let's see, they may broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms at the feast and the chief seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. And be, uh, but be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for the uh, one is your father which is in heaven. And neither be ye called masters, for uh, is your master, or for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he uh, that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Right. But he says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go unto yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. And woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make a long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. And woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he made ye uh, make him twofold more than a child of hell than yourselves, Woe unto you, ye blind guides, and say, or which say, whatsoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whatsoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Uh, ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold of the temple that sanctifieth the gold, and whatsoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it he is guilty, ye fools and blind, for which is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifieth the gift. Uh, whosoever therefore shall swear by the altar sweareth by it and by all things that therein. And whosoever, uh, let's see, okay, so we got 21. Let's go to 22 here, friends. And he that shall swear by heaven sweareth by the throne of God and by him that sitteth therein. Or thereon. And woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithe of mint and anise in coming, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, and mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to uh, leave the other undone. Uh, ye blind guides would strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. <clears throat> Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you may clean the outside of the cup and the platter, but within they uh, are, uh, let's see, are full of exert, uh, and, uh, extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup of the platter, and the outside of them uh, may be clean also. And woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, uh, hypocrites, for ye are like unto witted, uh, witted sculptures, or sepulchres, there it is, uh, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanliness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchers of the righteous. And say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers of them in the blood. 
of uh, the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up uh, with the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. Uh, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send you unto the prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them shall, or ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. That upon you may come all the righteous blood shed of the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zechariah, son of Barachias, of whom he slew before. Uh, between the temple and the altar. And verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. Uh, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, uh, that thou killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens, under her wings, and ye would not. And behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, you shall not see me henceforth till ye say, uh, shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Amen. All right, there you go. So let's go to uh, 24, right? 23 and 24, and we're going to do that. Amen. So, yeah, let's go to Matthew 24 here, friends. And I think we'll probably wrap it up after one more uh, scripture here. I know, you know, I don't want to drift too far past the two-hour mark, but, uh, you know, I want to make sure, like I said, I want to make sure I get on this. Uh, been a couple of days of rest and couple, kind of a couple of days of recovering and, and, and readjustments here in the studio as always. Uh, amen. All right, so let's go to 24, uh, Matthew chapter 24 here, friends. I am still your host, Pastor Rick here, uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, hanging out, Studio A, Friday, the very first day of the month of April, my friends, 2022. Uh, Amazing, friends. This time is flying by and, and just moving right along, right? Well, praise God. Amen, friends. Let's go to chapter 24, the destruction of the temple and signs there end, or before the end. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and, uh, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto him, or them, uh, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us what shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of them of the coming of the end of the world. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars, uh, of wars and rumors of wars, and see that uh, ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Again, pure examples, we're clearly seeing these now, uh, in these end times. And all these things are the beginning of sorrows, that they shall deliver you up to the afflicted, or to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And they shall, uh, shall many be offended, and they shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, uh, and shall many deceive, or, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But that uh, he, now watch this, this is a real important scripture here, friends. Uh, that he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. 
And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand uh, in the holy place, whosoever readeth, or whoso readeth, let him understand. And that's why we got to pray for discernment, friends. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let them, or let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. And neither let him which is in the field return back to his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Uh, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not the beginning of the world uh, for, to this time, nor shall ever be. Amen. And except these days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but uh, for the elect's sake that those days shall be shortened. Uh, then that if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ. For there, uh, or there, believe it not, for there shall rise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders uh, inasmuch uh, that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And clearly we're seeing this already, friends. Every time I read this, I see that we're seeing this right now. We are in the end times, friends. Jesus is coming. The Messiah is coming. We got to be prepared for this, friends. Uh, amen. All right. It is much as if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert. Go not forth. Uh, forth. Right. Uh, or behold, he is in the secret chambers. Be. Uh, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Now the coming of the, of the, man, of the Son of Man, there it is. Now in 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers... Oh, sorry about that, friends. Boy, oh boy, where'd that come from? Uh, strain of my voice here. I, I, sometimes I lose my voice, like, it just kind of randomly happens, but... Oh, mercy. I know, it sounded like a mouse <laughs> like a mouse squeak there for a second. Uh, so you guys are going to see this at about a minute 56, 55, something like that. Uh, I strain of my voice again. I don't know why, but... You know, anyway, uh, don't pay any attention. Just keep moving right along here, friends. Let's keep going into the scripture. Uh, amen. All right. Again, in verse 28, for whoso or wheresoever the carcass is, there will the car of the eagles be gathered together. Now, the, again, we were talking about the coming of the Son of Man be and a mouse came in. I don't know where that came from. Mercy. All right, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall, the, uh, 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 shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Uh, amen, right? All right. Uh, let's go ahead and write some notes there. And shall be send, uh, he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and one end of heaven to the other. Amen. 
might be the cold weather. The kind of the changing of the weather does that as well. So it gets, you know, it's been extremely cold, and then of course, you know, we get warm weather all, all of a sudden. So anyway, that's kind of what's doing it. So let's keep going. We got just uh, I may close out. We may just close out with uh, 24 here. So let's keep reading, friends. Let's keep going here just a little bit here. All right. So then learn a parable. And as you're talking about the parable of the fig tree. He says, now learn a parable of a fig tree when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves. Ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. And verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. No man knows the day. And again, watch this. But of the day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the the coming of the Son of Man be. For as the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until uh, the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, that, and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. All right. And again, we kind of talk about the rapture here, more examples of the Bible about the rapture and stuff. And uh, again, people get confused and say, now there's dimension in the rapture. Yes, it does. Uh, you just got to read what it says, all right? Not your own interpretation. So, verse uh, 11 here. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch, therefore, as let's go backtrack, I think I missed something here. 39, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away. So, also, again, uh, the uh, shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, uh, the one shall be taken, and the other left. There it is. We had to go back over and make sure we got that one. Now watch therefore, for ye know not what the hour uh, the Lord uh, doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched. He would not have suffered his house to be broken up. And therefore be ye also, uh, or see, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man, uh, of the, the Son of Man cometh. Watch. We don't, we don't know. We don't know when he's coming, but we know that he is coming. It's just a matter of uh, when, right? Or time, right? Anyway. Uh, so the unfaithful servant. Now, uh, who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he uh, cometh, shall find so doing. And verily I say unto you, he shall make him rule over all his goods. But if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink uh, with the drunken. The Lord and his servant of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and when an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. And there shall be uh, weeping, as I was talking about, there shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. Mercy, that don't sound like fun to me, <laughs> right? All right. Well, what do we got? Uh, yeah, just like I said, just about two hours or close to it. Uh, but we did have a 25-minute delay here, too, uh, friends. That's uh, really what did it was we, we had the delay. Uh, so I'm uh, trying to make up a little bit here. So um, yeah. All right. Well, let's see uh, kind of where we're at next here, friends. I don't want to do too much past the hour here. I do want to do it a little bit here. 
uh, Mark 13. So let's uh, let's roll with that. Uh, amen. And uh, maybe we'll go Mark and Luke here, friends. We got Mark 13 and uh, Luke 13. So there must be something in there if it's both the same chapter. So let's go ahead and read that, friends. All right, signs of the end, again, with Matthew here, friends. So, um, amen. Yeah, let me go ahead and write that down, just uh, information there. So as we look at uh, Mark 13, signs of the end. And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples saith unto him, Master, see what many a stones uh, and what buildings are here. And Jesus answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that uh, shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives and over against the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, uh, when shall these things be? And what shall the signs or sign when all these things will or shall be fulfilled? And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed, lest any man shall deceive you. Uh, for many shall come in my name, uh, and saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war, be ye not troubled. For such things must needs be. Uh, but the end shall not be yet. Hang on here, friends. Let me fix this. Amen. All right. Well... <laughs> That happens with the notes here, you know. Uh, amen. So, let me fix this, and we're going to continue here. And, amen. So, as he tells us here, friends, uh, see ye, or be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be. But the end it, uh, shall not be yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. Uh, these are the beginnings of sorrows. And take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils and in synagogues. You shall be beaten and ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. All right. But when they shall lead you and uh, deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak, neither do ye uh, pre... Uh, let's see, neither do ye premeditate... For our but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, and speak ye, for it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. Took me a long time to realize that. It wasn't me that was, you know, that, that's doing all that. It's just the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, uh, the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And it should be hated of all men for my name's sake. And that's uh, another key scripture there. Uh, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. Got to keep our eyes on the prize, my friends. But when we, uh, let's see, when ye shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing where it ought not, let him, again, that's our key right here, let him that readeth understand, then let him that in, be in Judea flee to the mountains. And let him, oh man, all right, a gnat, thanks, it's hangout time over there, I don't know what he was thinking of, but anyhow, let's move on. <laughs> and let him 
uh, that is on the housetop, not go down in the house, neither enter therein, to take anything out of his house, and let him that is in the field not turn back to the for to take up his garment, but woe to them that are with child, and to them to get su- that give suck in those days. And pray ye uh, that your flight not be in winter, for in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created unto this time, um, or neither shall be. And except that the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh shall be or should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom He hath chosen, uh, He hath shortened the days. And if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ. Uh, Let's see. Let me fix this real quick. I realize I missed a... Well, I I missed a lot. (laughs) Uh, It's an everyday thing that I go back over and, you know, through these notes and stuff. But uh, anyway, so uh, he that chosen, whom he hath chosen, he has shortened the days. And then, if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ, or lo, he is there, believe him not. For false Christ and false prophets, clearly again, uh, shall rise and shall show, show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. Again, clear signs, friends. But take ye heed, behold, I have foretold you all things, the coming of the Son of Man, Now, in verse 24, But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall shall not give her light. Again, we're talking about the the eclipse here, friends. Uh, Amen. All right. And the stars of heaven shall fall. Now, let's get this pulpit up here a little bit closer so I can read it. Uh, Amen. The stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Now, again, here we go into a second part here, third part actually. Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When our branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is near. Uh, so ye like, uh, in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh, uh, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, that this generation shall not pass till all these things be done. Heaven and earth shall pass away, friends, but watch this in verse 31. Uh, my words shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Take ye heed, watch and pray, ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man uh, is as a, uh, as is a man take, uh, uh, <laughs> I just stutter, I try to figure this out here. Um, taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority. I told you, it's a little stumbling here. To his servants and to every man his work. And commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. And at even at, or at midnight, uh, as the uh, let's see, as the rooster crowing, or in the morning, lest suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, uh, I say unto all, watch. I know, boy, I appreciate you guys as patient with all this. You know your patience and your understanding here. I'm just. Trying to get through the words, and even though I, you know, I've studied and read and did all the, uh, the the pre setup here and the, you know, the reading and stuff, I still get stumbled at the words. I still like they're kind of like a stumbling block. They're not really uh, as a stumbling block is, but uh, you know, they they do, uh, you know, I do get stuck sometimes on these. So thank you guys for your patience, your understanding, your. Your, you know, again, your prayers and uh, support here. 
Um, I think I'm going to wrap this up, my friends. Uh, what I don't get now, like I said, I'll just uh, add on to tonight's podcast. Again, about 1030 or so. kind of depends on uh, when we you know what's going on, but uh, we should have good Wi-Fi then. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this up. We'll close out. I'll add this to the next uh, podcast here and uh, get some rest there and get some things done, of course, with the notes. And, yeah, so come on back, my friends. You've been good. I appreciate you guys being here a couple of days out. But uh, I always appreciate you guys so much. Uh, so we're going to be going into uh, quite a bit, actually. So, you know, as it is always is a jam-packed uh, podcast. I'll have that set up for the next broadcast uh, here tonight. And, of course, kind of repeat this, uh, what I always do, um, repeat this part um, for uh, our friends and viewers over on Twitch TV. So, uh, amen. Amen, amen. All right. So, got a lot of homework as I always do. No problem there. I I do enjoy it. I do uh, you know enjoy reading the studies there, doing the studies there, and getting everything wrapped up. Um, all right, so let me close out. You all know what happens here. What the the usual scheduling is. Uh, let me go ahead and and go into that and block talk radio. I'll see you on the next broadcast, friends. A little after two p.m. here for Friday, April first, already two thousand twenty-two. Uh, Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, here live on Restream today for our Friday first service, morning service, that is. Amen, Block Talk Radio, see ya on the next broadcast. You've been good today, amen for that. See you soon, friends. Uh, see you light, uh, later tonight. Got a couple more coming up on Melon TV, friends. That's it, Block Talk Radio. Catch you on the next broadcast. Take care. All right, friends, give me a minute. Let me get through uh, the setup here. Uh, Amen. All right. Uh, Amen, 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 you guys. appreciate you all so much. Uh, Again, bear with me. Let me close out the Spreaker channels uh, one. Uh, Amen. Channel one, our backup for our backup here, and we'll close out a couple of channels. Uh, and again, thank you guys for putting up with all this. Boy, oh boy, I tell you, uh, praise God that uh, he gives me enough uh, courage and boldness to get through this stuff. I always appreciate you guys. All right, there's Channel 1. See you soon, friends. Amen. All right, so there it is. Back on Restream, friends. We're going to end it right there. And, of course, we'll have uh, one more channel to close out. But thank you guys for... Hanging out with me today for a couple hours. Uh, Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you later on Melon TV tonight at about 10.30. And then, of course, uh, we're going to be over at about 8-ish <laughs> on Twitch with Melon TV. So, anyway, friends, good to see you guys. I always appreciate you. And I will see you soon. Uh, for the weekend, we got 3 o'clock podcasts uh, tomorrow and Sunday afternoon, friends. So hang out, come back, and uh, we'll see you soon. And again, later on tonight at about 10.30 or so, uh, Pacific Standard Time on Melon TV. Jumping back over there later on. That's it. I'll see you soon, friends. Take care. Spreaker, hold that thought. All right, you guys, take care. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me today, this morning, and today. <laughs> See you soon, friends. All right, Spreaker, give me a minute, and there we go. Just one more time. Time to one more.